To set up the 3D printer, you'll want to attach the filament spool holder to the back. That just screws on. To load the filament, you're going to want to go into the menu. You're going to set it for preheat and either PLA or ABS, depending on what kind of filament you're using. The filament just comes off the spool and it goes up into the hose at this point here. Then it travels through the tube and then down through the hole on the head of the 3D printer. And then you'll notice that it will start to ooze out the bottom of the nozzle. Make sure that everything is completely cool when you are putting tape onto your surface. I like to use green frog tape. I did have a little problem with the print not sticking. I solved that by just using a paintbrush and brushing a little bit of hairspray onto the surface. To level the platform, you're going to go into the prepare menu and choose auto home. This will raise the platform. After the platform is raised, you're going to go back into the prepare menu. And this time you are going to select disable steppers. Now you can move the print head around freely. You want to make sure that it's not scratching your tape. To get it the right height, what I like to do is use just a plain sheet of printer paper. I slide that between my tape and the nozzle. When you move that around, there should be a small amount of friction. It should move, but you don't want it to move too freely. To adjust it, there are four different screws. You'll use the tool and turn them to loosen or tighten them. And to lower the platform down again, I got confused the first time. I went in to the first setting and there was no Z axis. So what you want to do is go to the one millimeter setting and inside that you will find move Z and that will let you bring the platform back down. In the manual for setting up the software, I do want to point out that the configuration file name that it shows is not the same as the name of the file that I actually had. The one I have is called configuration.ini the card came with several different 3D files already prepared on it. I used the robot file for my first print. As you can see, I'm having some problems with the filament stringing. There are things that you can do to help correct this. Primarily in your settings, you want to look at retraction and the speed. And you also want to make sure that you have it set to the correct temperature for the filament that you are using. There are a number of good instructional tutorials online for how to deal with things like stringing. Now I am going to print my own file. Once everything has thoroughly cooled, I remove my piece from the tape by scraping it up with a little spatula. So now you can see I have a nice piece and I'm going to use that to make a pendant.